Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, James here. Uh, so I just wanted to give my quick thoughts on the Game Awards uh, that were that happened last night. Uh, so I thought the show uh, stretched out a little bit too long. You know, it was a three hour show. I think they could have cut it down to two hours. But the reason why I tuned in was for the world premieres and uh, trailers, new game announcements. And they had some interest in uh, trailers like uh, Hellblade 2 they showed and uh, the graphics and presentation looked phenomenal. Um, I really liked Hellblade 1. I played it this year on Xbox Series X. Uh, Horizon for Forbidden West, they showed a very short gameplay trailer, but uh, it was, it did look very cool. And um, it looks like they're really bringing the combat to the next level for the sequel. And I would say the other games that stuck out to me or stood out to me were, were uh, Forspoken as well as Alan Wake 2. I never played uh, the original Alan Wake, but that's always a series I've wanted to get into. And I uh, played Control. Uh, when did I play Control? I played Control last year. And I... Or was it last year? No, I think it was 2019. And I really love Control. I think it's uh, one of the most underrated games from the last generation of consoles. Um, so I, I became a fan of Remini... Uh, after playing Control, so I think I'm probably going to try to play Alan Wake and uh, get ready for the sequel. Uh, but anyway, those are just some of my thoughts on the Game Awards this year. I uh, didn't really care too much about the awards. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys have a good day there.